Yes, you can hack into any phone's camera by just sending over a link. And this is crazily easy to do, which is why hacking is illegal. And the only time you should send this link to anyone is either by sending it to yourself or sending it over to Hackerloy. Yes, you heard me right. By sending it over to Hackerloy, Hackerloy can help you discover your IP address and it can discover all of the devices that you have and help you take photos on behalf of you. And of course, the best part of all, it is a free service. So I'm doing it out of kindness for you. Before we get started, I want to take this chance to introduce you to a really great app that can help you detect if your email or your device has already been hacked. Here you can see this app from Cyphermar, an external threat landscape management platform company. And this app is called Defense. And this app helps us check our email addresses for affected data breaches on different website mobile applications that you may have signed up for. And those mobile apps and those websites got hacked so you can quickly take action to protect your accounts. And at the same time, do you even know whether your phone is already hacked and the defense app take it to the next level by helping our devices scan for malicious applications on it and this is really awesome because you can now stop hacker lock from assessing into your devices oh, sorry i mean stopping hackers from assessing into your devices and the best part of all is that it comes free of charge so that you can easily download it from google play store or apple app store and the best part of all it also comes with cybersecurity articles so that you can be kept up to date with the latest cybersecurity news the links to the app in the description as well as the comment section below so feel free to check it out and have them installed on all the devices that you have so remember to smash the like button and turn on notification for your subscription so that you don't get hacked so right in front of us we're on color linux all right so you can see that from the top left menu we have all of the software that we can use and of course in this case in front of us we're on camfish so this is going to be the place for us to download this software so that we can then provide the link to the target user and then after which this gives us access to the camera so that we can begin taking snapshots from their camera seeing exactly what is going on so the first thing you can do is you can open up terminal and from terminal all you got to do is do a git clone so you can go under code and then you can copy the https over here and jump over and back to your terminal and do a git clone followed by the link that we provided earlier so go ahead and hit enter on that and you see the following so i've already downloaded on that so all you got to do now is cd over into camfish hit enter on that and once you are here you can enter ls you can see the list of all of the instructions and the commands that we can run along with it so the first thing you got to do is just go ahead and enter dot slash camfish hit enter on this and you can see the following right here choose the tunnel server that we'll be using so in this case we can choose tunnel server of ng rockets one and then followed by live youtube tv so once you're here all you got to do is go over into youtube all right select onto your favorite hacker Lloyd's video in this case i can copy over here all right the link or the youtube code jump back over here and of course with the watch id paste the selection over here hit enter on that and this is it we are literally starting up the hacker service and we have already hosted it through a tunneling service that gives this hacker website or service out onto the internet. It's really crazy how easily this can be done. I mean, if you go over here onto NG Rock right now, you go to 127.0.0.1 slash 4040 slash status, you can get the URL from here. And all you got to do is copy the following. All right. And of course, I can jump into, say, a mobile device in this case. Or I have the following mobile device. I open a new tab. I paste it right here. Okay, the link that we've just copied. I hit enter on that. And you can see the following. We're loading into the site. And once we're on a site, it states the following. Once the user can we click allow. That's it. It's game over. If I jump back over into the folder, I click open folder. I go on a cam fish over here. You can see that we're taking snapshots from the camera of the device. I go back to terminal and file receive as quickly as that we're able to hijack into a mobile device camera so whatever i'm showing you here right now you notice that it is running on an emulated device so the question now is can we do it in a real android device and the answer is of course yes it's the same thing all right so let me show you how i can hack into my own phone in seconds so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and start up camfish one more time and of course, in this case, I'll select NG Rock as our tunneling server. And we will again enter the live YouTube TV, all right, with the watch ID of as follow. So once again, just go ahead and copy that in. Copy, go back to terminal, paste it right here, hit enter on that, starting PHP server, starting NG Rock server, give it a couple more seconds, and the service will be up and running. So once the service is up and running, jump back all right over into the ng rock status over here 
404 slash status. And you can see right here, this is the URL that we can send over to the user. So let's do a refresh, just to check on the URL update. So here it is, we have the URL and this is the link that you can just send over to the user and it's game over. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks like in the real world. So in front of us, all right, I have my own device and I've connected over here into my computer so that I can do a screen mirroring right here. So what I can do now is I can update the URL part of it. And then once I hit enter, once again, we'll be able to see exactly what is the camera or where is the phone facing on. So here I've entered the link, as you can see from the URL bar. I hit enter on that. Okay, I jump over here, hit enter. And now we'll go into the site right now. All right. And of course, if I click allow, we can see and go back to the terminal. We have cam file receive. And what I can do now is I can go over in front of the phone that I have and I can show you right here what's going on. Okay, you can see the following. I'll be able to discover what the heck is going on. So now if I jump over into the camfish folder, you can see all the camera captures happening right here. And of course, if I was to go ahead and open up, say one of the more interesting ones, say for example, if I was to open this up and you can see here, this is Hackerloin, my phone is in front of me, of course, facing my nostril and you'll be able to see the details of it. So as quickly as that, we have hacked into a phone's camera. So whether it's a mobile device or whether it's a desktop, what you want to do is you want to go to the top right corner, select under settings, and then from settings, you go under security and privacy, and you click under site settings. And from site settings, you can see the following, all right? We allow a camera access from this particular site. And this is the place where you want to verify which of these sites have access to different parts of your computer, like say your location, your camera, your microphone, and all of that. And you want to review and revoke those permissions. Say for example, I want to stop the hacker from being able to continuously have access to my camera. I can select on the camera and you can see right here. Okay, this is where the site usually use the video camera for communication, like video chatting. I scroll down further and can see the following. Allow to use your camera. So go ahead and delete on this and that will remove the permission granted to that site to be able to access your camera. So there you go. Within a few minutes, we managed to set up a hacking server that would then allow us to take photos from the camera from any of those devices. And from there, we'll be able to see exactly what the user is doing. And it's pretty crazy, isn't it?